Hello, Kirk Shenta Shen, Turn of Seed here, um, cash flow coach and also founder of Busy Women Build Empires. And I'm here with today's tip. Um, it's something that I've said myself in the past with the previous company, just being honest and transparent. But I've also heard other people say um, to me from other companies, and it's like, mm, mm -mm. and that thing is, you know, it, it's basically people blaming their sponsor for their lack of success in their in their personal business. Okay. So when you join a network marketing or an affiliate marketing business, um, you are essentially getting a business in a box. It's similar to a franchise. So you're going to get um, the marketing, you're going to get the license to basically go make money um, using their resources or using their stuff. You're going to get um, whatever business marketing tools that the company already has, um, you're going to get a back office. So it saved you from ha having to hire, you know, an accountant at that time and all these other systems, you have it in your back office. That's what, what your back office is for. So that said, um, you got everything that you need. Okay. Now the next thing that you need to do is once you get that is just literally your job, your one job is to get out there, take what you have, what you have and get out there and promote it. Okay. Um, when we blame our sponsors for our lack of success, then we're not taking responsibility for our business. I say we, cause I said, I've done that in the past. Um, and we don't take responsibility for our business, our success is not dependent on anybody else at all by any means, okay? Um, now, should our sponsors help us? Should they give us the information that they need? Yeah, yeah, they should. They should make sure that you have the training and the information that is available to you, okay? But that said too, they might be struggling. They might not know what they need to know and they're probably figuring it out along with you. So again, the responsibility still goes back to you. So what I tell people is if you're in that situation, Here's how to fix it. You know, if you don't know the information, take a few dollars and invest in some training. That's what I did. When I started my business, my network marketing business, I was literally the only person, literally, the only person in my market. There were hardly any distributors. Like, actually, I take that back. There were like 10 of us. Because at the time, you could like literally go to the page and it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of us. Um, everything I had to figure out by myself, my team, like they helped me, but they weren't here to like physically show me like how to do things. I had to figure it out and I figured it out by failing forward, you know, trying things, writing down what worked, writing down what didn't work. Like, oh, I'm not touching that again. <laughs> you know, that did not work. Um, and I figured out a lot of things by committing to taking action and taking responsibility for my business and knowing that I had to make it work. I had an income goal. My goal was to make $1,000 a month. And I was running with that, you know, full speed ahead. As I, you know, got a little bit more advanced, I realized that I needed to invest in a little bit of training. So I like literally went and searched online of people who had cheap courses. I'm talking about like $37, $47, like something like that on how to build a business online. I thought my thing stopped. 